All right, now Samsung has always been at the forefront of innovation, constantly pushing the boundaries of what a smartphone can do. There are some amazing features offered on Galaxy phones, among which the edge panel feature is a distinctive and intuitive addition to the Samsung's lineup. Most of us are already using this feature on our phones. But if you're new to Samsung and if you haven't explored some of the amazing applications offered on the edge panel, then in this video, you're gonna know more about it. Today, we are gonna focus on all those amazing edge panel applications, which are official available from Samsung. First one is Smart Select. Now this is available by default. If it is not showing up on your edge panel, you can add it yourself. Just open the edge panel, tap on the settings icon at the bottom. You will be able to see all those edge panels which are available here. Just select the one you want. Now using this, we will be able to take some screenshot of a particular area on the screen. As you can see here, we have got rectangle oval shapes. We can tap on it to select a particular rectangle area or oval shaped area on the screen to save it or we can do multitasking by pinning that screenshot we have just taken. Now, apart from this, we can also create GIFs or animations by tapping on this icon. Let's say if you are playing a video on your phone and if you want to make a particular clip as animation or GIF, you can use this particular feature. That is smart select panel for you. The second one is tools panel. Now this is a very, very handy panel. As you can see, we have got the compass here. By tapping on this three dot button on the top right corner, we can access more tools. As you can see, we have tally counter. We have torch here, that is nice. And then we have got surface leveler. And we also have ruler option here. These tools will definitely come in handy. And I would suggest you guys to add this particular tool on the edge panel and start using it. Now let's move to the third one. This is called direct call. As you can see, we can add multiple contacts on this panel so that we can directly access these contacts from the edge panel itself instead of going to the phone app and searching for the contact. That's a useful edge panel we have. The next one is widget edge. Again, this is from Samsung Electronics. We can add widgets on this particular edge panel. All you need to do is just tap on this settings icon on the top. Just select the one you want and add it on the edge panel. I wouldn't say this is very useful because the widgets are better off on the home screen itself. They look very tiny on the edge panels, but if you're into something like this, you can look into this and add the widgets that you want on the edge panel so that the home screens are clutter free. Moving on to the next one, we have got quick notes from Samsung. As you can see here, we can create the notes and put it on the edge panel so that they're quickly accessible whenever you want. Just tap on this plus button at the bottom to create a note and add it on the edge panel. That is just fantastic. The next one is calendar. Now this looks very clean. As you can see, at least we have got three months calendar displayed over here. We can swipe to scroll up or down to access the previous months or the upcoming months. This is just to refer all 30, 31 days of every month and we cannot really access the calendar by tapping on this panel. But it's a very handy panel to quickly check the dates using the edge panel. Now the next one is notification edge. Here it says by using the notification edge, the desired notifications can be quickly accessed. So the notifications will show up over here. And if you want to customize this, just tap on this notification edge here. We can select the applications from which you want to see the notifications on the edge panel. We've got view type, delete all messages option. And then we also have an option to disable the notifications on the lock screen if you want using this toggle. That is notification edge for you. The next one is recent files. Now, as the name suggests, this panel is going to show you all those recent files you have accessed on your phone. And the best part is you can see the download history. You can tap on documents to see all those recent documents you have accessed. We've got images, audio and video files. All these are categorized here, which is excellent. We can access the file based on its type. These are some of the best edge panels offered by Samsung Electronics itself, which you guys must consider trying. This seamless integration with various applications allowing for a more immersive and efficient multitasking experience is just fantastic. If you are a new Samsung user, go ahead, use your edge panel effectively on your phone and let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your phone better that's about it that's all i want to share with you guys thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye